Let's start from our opening posture. Root, relaxed upper body muscles, wake up the toes, wake up the fingers. The first section of our 60 movement William C.C. Chen short form begins from our opening posture, then inhale as you raise your hands to chest height, palm facing down. Exhale as you track those palms back towards your chest. Hollow out the hips, sitting slightly deeper. Lower your tailbone slightly so that you maintain the shape and the space. You don't want to call it, you're not bringing your hands and bending your elbows back towards your body. You're holding your shape and you're tracking your hips. Your hips creating more space as your hands Track back towards your chest slightly, still maintaining space, your safety zone there. And then inhale as you energize those fingers like knives straight up to the ceiling, straight up to the sky. And exhale as you track your hands back down to the opening posture. Again, let's do that again. Breathing in and breathing out. Maintain the safety zone space and then stay rooted. Toes gripping the ground as you breathe in, fingertips tracking towards the sky, and breathe out. Very good. One more time. Breathing in, and breathing out, and breathing in. Now let's continue. Breathe out. Start shifting your weight into that left foot. Grab a ball between your palms, fingertips gripping onto that ball. Hold onto that ball as you rotate your body to the right. Shift your weight. Now root into the right foot. Left foot steps forward and out. Be sure, we want to maintain shoulder width distance between our feet as we move. And it becomes more difficult as we step and shift our weight. So think of it this way. Every time you move to step out, think of bringing that foot forward and out to the side a little bit. Almost like as if towards the corner of the room typically, right? So it's gonna come forward and out that's your distance. Shift your weight, root in that left foot. Now rotate, left palm up, right palm down, and pause. This is ward off left, and glance down. Notice you've moved your foot out properly. You're at shoulder width distance apart. Your weight is on that front foot, and also very important, your alignment. Just a reminder from our foundations class, nose, knee, toe, really important. Now, rotate your upper body to the left and grab the ball over here. Hold on with your fingertips, rotate your shape. Right foot steps forward and out, shift and rotate. Your left toes track in. Continue the rotation to the right, shift your weight back. Left palm under right elbow, as if we're grabbing that sack of rice over the shoulder and we're going to hold on with both Fingers, our total body shape, we're gonna drive that sack of rice to the ground. Shift our weight into the right foot. Bring the heel of your palms together and press, pause. So glance down, again, nose, knees, toes. Got our feet shoulder width apart. We're nice, stable, solid foundation there. Hands at chest height, right? So our shoulders are soft, tracking down towards the ground muscles soft, the heel of our palms are together for the press. This is really important. A lot of times people will put palm to palm, right? And if you feel that, you, your, your wrists aren't strong enough to support all that power and energy that you're giving, and certainly not strong enough to, to ward off a, 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 a good opponent, right? So for more power, more stability, more support through the arm structure, Put the heel of the palms together. That is your press posture. And then shift the weight back. Nose, knees, toes. Shift the weight forward. Good. And shift the weight back. Now, from here, the fingertips moving together with the right toes tracked straight towards the front. You notice, see my toes down there? You have a little 
pigeon toe action going on with the feet. So track the fingers and the right toes together, right toes and the fingers facing the front of the room. Shift your weight right over, right down into that right foot. Wind up your body like a propeller toy. Oh, and your shape over that right arch. And unwind. Fingertips come together. Left foot steps out. Shift the weight, left palm up. So you, you're blocking up, blocking high. Your palm lands towards your body. Now what you're gonna do is rotate this left palm and your right foot into its forward stance position. So as you, fingers and toes are connected. Fingers and toes of the right foot are connected. Palm rotates out and the toes rotate in at the same time. Still dangling your fingertips and this tea bag right here out towards the front of the room. This a uh, 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 punch posture here. Good. So that's our first section. Let's go through that one more time. It's right from the beginning. Breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and breathing out. Shift the weight. Grab the ball. Hold on to the ball as you rotate. Shift the weight. Left foot steps out to the corner, shift the weight, ward off left, rotate. Step and root and rotate. Continue rotating to the right as you roll back, left palm on your right elbow, grab the bag and drag it to the ground. Shift, root, press, pull, Push. Again, we're moving the shape. We're not driving our arms forwards and backwards. We're shifting the weight of our full connected body. Grab that tea bag, bring it to the front. Left foot steps out. Fingers and the right toes move together. Excellent. Again, right from the beginning, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Continue to breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Continue to breathe out until you're rooted and breathe in. Yeah, rotate, breathing out still. Until you're rooted and breathe in for the press and breathe out. And breathing in and breathing out. Good. Toes, right toes pointing to the front of the room. Dangle that tea bag out to the front, left foot steps back. And the fingers and the right toes move together. Good. Now, just a couple times, I'm going to stand in the same orientation with you. I'm going to start with my back to you. We're going to do the same thing a few more times. So, here we go. Breathing in and breathing out. Now, as we talked about in the foundations class, allow your, time, your body, the time and the space to fully exhale 100% of that air. Exhale. Helps lock in the root, right? Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Breathing out. Breathing in. Those toes towards the front, wind up over the right arch, unwind over the right arch, left foot steps out, blocking, rotate the palm and the right foot together. Good. Let's do that again. Quick reminder from foundations class. Uh, if you need a refresher on the posture and some of these core principles, please go back to the foundations tutorial video. Um, and remember, in particular, the breath. The breath helps us to focus, it helps us to relax, 
it helps pace our movement to a degree, um, but really be mindful of the exhale, right? We want to breathe in and breathe fully. That's a little bit easier for us to do. We're used to doing that. What we're not used to doing is fully exhaling, allowing all of that air out again. Super useful. When we do that in the form, it allows us to exhale, 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 exhale a little bit more. Boom. And that's when we actually lock in that root, allowing ourselves time to settle downwards, to lock in the root so that we can turn it right around and deliver energy where we need it. So here we go, again from the beginning. Breathing in, and breathing out. And breathing in, and breathing out. Lock it in. Now breathe in, and breathing out. Wait for it, push it out. Lock it in, and step, that's it. Right into one off right, into roll back. Breathing in, press, pull, push, pull. Fingers lead the motion. Wind, wind, wind up over that right arch. Drive the big toe downwards as you deliver that tea bag to the front, rotate the palm and the right toes together. Excellent. So that's the first section of the short form. Join me again and we'll hit the next section together.